Welcome back to Tasmania. We're Gin and Ring and we are taking you on a lap around Tassie in our Toyota Coaster bus with our cat and our dog. We've spent the last three days on a final week hot lap in a high car called Sally the Sub, hitting some of the spots we missed once Gertie decided she wanted to take a break. And we're in Hobart again. And what are we doing here? We're going to the Salamanca markets and then we're going to see the tall ships. Yeah, we're off to the Wooden Boat Festival for 2023. And because of the event that's going on, we're walking about three miles into town. Yeah, couldn't get a park. Last time we got a park, they gave us a $45 parking ticket. After we paid $20 for parking. Yeah, so we're up to about $160 worth of tickets just to go to the market for the day. That's unheard of. If you head down to Salamanca Place in Hobart on any given Saturday, you will find Tasmania's most visited tourist attraction, the Salamanca Markets. Welcome to the Salamanca Markets. With over 300 stalls and a can-do attitude, our favourite market runs rain, hail or shine from 8.30am till 3pm. It's one of those markets where you'll find something new each time you visit. We have been at least a dozen times now and our favourite days are spent eating and people watching. What do you got there, mate? Oh, I think they're called... Kofta. Kofta? Kofta? Lofta? Kofta Lofta. Anyway, they're like a, they're a vegan donut, basically. Like donut balls. For, vegan, for vegans? For vegans? For vegan, I can't say it. Let for us try vegans. one of them. Oh, yum. We've got cinnamon on them. And... Yeah. Big man like that, 10 bucks. 10 bucks? It was so good. And the owners of the place are so nice. Mm. That always helps, doesn't it? There is no shortage of food options, from fresh produce to tasty treats and yummy coffee. And you'll also find a huge selection of locally made products, in most cases with the designers or makers there selling the products, only too happy to have a chat. The Salamanca markets here in Hobart are world famous and it's not hard to see why. There's something for everyone. There is also a huge busker scene with every corner and alley offering another musician. And being that Salamanca Place is surrounded by some of the oldest buildings in Australia's colonial history, there are many nooks and crannies. When you're finished looking through the market stalls, you'll also find an abundance of unique shops to poke through, or if you prefer, like us, you can walk along the wharf and check out some boats before chilling in the shade with something yummy in one of the numerous parks in the area. Another big hot dog at the market, and check out this German bratwurst. Oh, Dermis know how to do sausages. What are you getting, Jim? Getting a vegan burrito because I'm starving, Marvin. Doesn't that got wallaby in it? No. But you can get a wallaby burrito here too. Smoky, hot, and fruity. <laughs> Yum. How's the taste? This is actually really good. Yum? Vegan nice burrito. And, nice and wholesome. Vegan burrito, eh? Yep. Mm -mm -mm. Now as for parking, you can get in early and snag a park within a few blocks for free or choose to pay an hourly rate close to the area. But be warned, the parking inspectors are on the ball and love dishing out fines within minutes of overstaying your allocated time. 
Otherwise, if you don't mind walking, you'll find plenty of free parking a little further out of town. We hope you've enjoyed today's stroll through this iconic market. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It really gives us a buzz knowing we're entertaining you. And until next time, thanks for watching. From what I've seen in Hobart here at the Salamanca markets, they are by far the best markets Tasmania has to offer. And thanks for hanging out. Don't forget to subscribe. Otherwise, they're coming and get you.